Happy Friday. So in our last video, we discussed how to shred fully charged lithium ion batteries. And this is part two of that uh, video series. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about drying and we're also gonna talk about your first cut of black mass. So uh, typically when you go through this process, the shredding process, if you go dry, you're going to want to remove the electrolyte. A lot of guys will go with a vacuum dryer. That's the most expensive way of drying, going through a vacuum dryer. Um, they're just, it's just the whole process is very costly. So if we go to the next step or the next solution would be uh, drying augers. So augers that, that have heat that dry it. The other way to do it as well uh, is to use a filter press, which a lot of you are familiar with. Filter press can remove a lot of the moisture and then the material is, is gonna dry kind of on its own. So in order to do the downstream, once you get to the fine millings and whatnot, you wanna be in that 10% moisture or less in order for that to really, really work properly. So our goal is that in drying, we remove the moisture to about the 10, maybe 15%. Uh, and then as it keeps going through, this, through the stages, it's gonna get a little more dry as it goes down. So you wanna dry the material. If you're going with wet, then you do wanna squeeze that extra moisture because now you have a lot. You don't just have the electrolyte that can, that can be dried off with the vacuum. Now you have a lot of water mixed in with it. And then you wanna squeeze that water out before you go to the next drying stage. So once everything is dry, then you want to right away screen off your black mass. A lot of guys say, well, don't I wanna take the steel off? There's, there's, there's the, the steel cans, don't I wanna remove the steel? You do wanna remove it, but not yet. And the reason for it is if I put a drum magnet, um, you're familiar with the drum magnets, and I bring this steel or this, this product onto it, what's gonna end up happening is I'll have a lot of black mass that falls into this box here as it comes off the face. But then over here, it's a tremendous amount, like 15 to 20%, depending on the material and the composition. Uh, it can vary greatly, but it's, it's, it's enough that you're losing so much black mass and so much nickel, you do not want to use a magnet first. The magnet goes after you've removed your first pass of black mass. So now, um, the black mass that you're going to get off of this first cut, and screening is going to be your cleanest, most high value black mass. Um, as it goes further throughout the stream, you're going to get more, uh, you're going to get a lot more uh, graphite and the other items in it. But this here has your highest concentration of valuable material. Some guys mix it at the end, so it doesn't really matter. But if you're looking for the purest cut, this is, this is where it's at. Now, a lot of guys that start processing, they'll, they'll use this system and they'll start the business with just this. They'll just shred, they're just gonna get the black mass and then they have all this other byproduct. And that's what we're gonna talk about is what do we do with this byproduct and how do we bring that downstream to get the maximum amount of value through your whole process. So a lot of our customers, when they first approached us, were just doing this. And this is enough to make money, but as the markets get tighter and tighter, um, and, and the, the values change, you, you're gonna wanna maximize the, your revenue uh, and doing just this isn't good enough for long-term solution. Also, we wanna recycle the whole battery, not just part of it. So we, we, we talked about in the first video how to shred. This video is how to dry it and how to get the black mass, your first cut of black mass. And we're gonna go into more details in the next videos as we go along. So like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Stay tuned for part three. We'll see you there. Happy Friday. Two days in a row now. I don't eat till, I haven't eaten till three. Are you getting your six pack yet? No, dude. <laughs>